Okay, hi Aries, welcome to your weekly channeled message. Let's find out what the message is for you in the current moment. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They you verse them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time that you felt guided to the channel by spirit. Um, so let's find out what messages would like to come through for you today. What energy wants to come through for Aries? we've got the spirit animal of a panther so you might be dealing with someone who's quite possessive let's see what's happening aries what is this about So I feel like you've been dealing with some kind of toxic narcissist who's very pissed off. We have the Panthers energy that you have been moving forward with your life and you've established some healthy boundaries towards this person. So I feel like this is someone quite toxic because we've got the spirit animal of the Panther. And I feel like with the journeyman's energy, I feel like, you know, you left this person's life and you just moved forward. So I feel like you've been dealing with a toxic narcissist and I feel like this is a divine feminine energy who has moved on from this relationship. It's a very toxic masculine energy who's not of the light. So this is a very dark energy. It's a very dark masculine energy. It's very karmic. So it could be um, a karmic lesson for a divine feminine energy. Um, you know, to have really, I feel like it's a feminine energy who dealt with a really toxic masculine energy and it was a karmic lesson for her about having higher standards in relationship and enforcing fiercer, fiercer boundaries. So this type of energy that's very toxic couldn't access you because when we have really healthy boundaries, I mean, people who are toxic don't respond well to that. So even it could even be a feminine energy as well. But I just am getting that someone is listening to their intuition and is moving forward, establishing some healthy boundaries towards a toxic narcissist and it's really triggering this narcissist because they're quite possessive and quite controlling so let's see what other energy wants to come through for you so i think you know you're probably sitting there wondering why you had to go through such a dark experience with this person why is this person in my life why is this person constantly popping up for me so narcissists have no power over us if we enforce healthy boundaries so these lessons are for you about boundaries because if you're not um if you're people pleasing just to keep the peace and you're not enforcing healthy boundaries then you open yourself up to these dark energies attacking you and interfering in your life so i feel like you're coming up as the spirit animal of the turtle because you're emotionally overwhelmed by this toxic energy i feel like this is an empath and narcissist dynamic and with this spirit animal of the turtle i feel like you have a beautiful heart and you're someone who's who's very empathic and very 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 like giving in relationships and i feel like you know you come from a place of love but i feel like you just I had to have a lesson that some people don't come from love they don't come from the light they come from the darker energies and these type of energies are the energies that you have to protect yourself from because they're not of the light so not every single person that we encounter is of the light there are dark energies out there and they're not coming from a place of love they're coming from a place of power and a place of control and they want to drain your light they want to drain your energy they want your love because they need it they need to feed off it. So this is like an energy vampire or a toxic narcissist. And I feel like you're emotionally overwhelmed by the dynamic that happened between you and this person. Like I feel it was quite unfair what happened between you and this narcissist. Yeah, it was someone that was projecting a lot of spray at you, like just real toxic. So let's see what else we can get from them. All right, so this is just a real strong message about um, 
taking a lesson that was learnt from this this situation and moving forward. So I feel like you were dealing with a really toxic person who was attacking you constantly. With the soul shrinkers energy, this is the energy that was being projected towards you. It was a constant abuse, a constant attack, a constant fight with this person. So I feel like you're feeling like emotionally overwhelmed right now because you've been receiving a lot of abuse from this person. So it could be in the form of text messages, could be in the form of um, just like spraying you arguing with you and i feel like you're kind of like whoa what did i do to deserve this why is this always happening to me and you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed by it but the universe and spirit wants you to know with the lady of the harvest energy take you know what you learned from this situation pack your bags establish those boundaries and move forward this was all about boundaries so if you don't enforce healthy boundaries in your life you open yourself up to this type of attack so you've been spiritually attacked by a panther because you weren't listening to your intuition you weren't establishing healthy boundaries you left yourself wide open i mean if you look at the turtle there's no boundaries here all this dark energy and they're floating and you know they're overwhelmed by it so this turtle needed to in uh, import a and put a force field of protection around them so this dark energy cannot attack cannot overwhelm and so this is the dark spray that was being projected at this turtle so i'm just being drawn to the turtle turtle on its back turtle overwhelmed turtle floating in a pool of darkness that turtle wouldn't be in the darkness if it had healthy boundaries if it had um a force field of light around it protecting it so you need to protect your energy a lot stronger you need to put in healthier boundaries you, you need to not people please with this type of energy um just because it's easier no you need to say to this panther you don't have access to me you don't get to control my life you don't tell me what i can and can't do who i can't see and you you don't have the final say i'm the one who decides you know what i'm going to do with my life i'm the one who's going to decide when i show up in it and what i do with my life and you don't have the power over me you don't control me and you don't have access to me i'm moving ahead with my life and if you want to respond toxically to that then that's on you but i'm not going to let you attack me anymore you're no longer going to have access to me so basically when we enforce these boundaries toxic people respond like this so a healthy person will not respond this way to boundaries healthy people respect boundaries so how you can test if you're dealing with a narcissist is by establishing these boundaries and trying to move on from them and then if you get sprayed by this energy, you know you're dealing with someone toxic. You know you're dealing with someone possessive. You know you're dealing with someone jealous. You know you're dealing with someone controlling because they're trying to keep you small, keep you stuck under their control. Because I feel like this is someone who's trying to drain your light, drain, trying to drain your energy. You've got an energy vampire that loves your energy. And so when you put up boundaries, they can't, they can't access your energy and they can't drain you so what energy vampires do they're very dark energies and and they're trying to dim your light and drain your energy because they don't know how to heal themselves they don't have the light they don't have your power so they, they have to attach to you and steal your energy so this was just a huge spiritual lesson for you of letting go of what no longer serves you and moving forward and real strong lesson about boundaries because if you had healthy boundaries these type of energies can't access you or get in and i think this is someone who feels guilty about establishing healthy boundaries what's the connective energy between these two so you could be dealing with a toxic ex this could be a best friend a family member who however this applies this is very generic but I feel like this is a message of why we need to establish healthy boundaries. So I feel like there's an energy here of resisting this person because they're, they're quite creepy. We have like a creepy vibe. So you've got somebody around you that's like just got this like creepy dark energy and the connective energy is that this person knows you're resisting their energy. You're resisting their advances on you. So it could be someone who's like, trying to drain your energy this could also be sexual 
however it applies, but they're trying to creep on your energy and, in, and steal your energy in some way. And however they're approaching you, the connective energy is that you have established boundaries towards their advances towards you. And this doesn't have to be a sexual, it can be friendship. So like, you know, they're, they're messaging you to spend time together. They're messaging you to talk. They're messaging you in some way to steal your energy, drain your energy. And they're doing it in like a it's a bit creepy how they're doing it. So it's kind of like just someone who's not of the light in terms of their approach. So you both are in, in the connection, recognizing that the turtle is resisting their advances, whether it's to hang out, to spend time together, to talk more. This person's got the boundaries up and, and they're like pissed off that, you know, their creepy energy can't creep in and drain your light. So let's find out. <laughs> Um, the strongest thing this panther is feeling for the turtle. Why are they so triggered? Why are they so angry? Okay, so they're angry because the um, turtle is in the energy of the master maker. And then they've mastered the lesson. They've learned the lesson. They've stepped into their power. So this is someone who's stepping more into their divine masculine energy. So it's probably someone who previously was more in their feminine energy. And when we're in our feminine energy, we're passive. We're submissive. We are, you know, just, just, just going with the flow to keep the peace. We're not really stepping into our masculine power. We don't have a backbone. But as you can see, this person has a backbone. So I feel like you um you are standing up for yourself and you've got a backbone now and that's really healthy and you're removing a false mask so you might have been masking your truth in the past to keep the peace you might not have been sp speaking your truth so the fact that you um have a backbone you're speaking your truth and standing in your power is why this person's so pissed off and triggered. You're moving forward and establishing some healthy boundaries, all right? So that's the situation here, Aries. I'm going to leave that there and take this over to the extended reading. If you're resonating with the message, the link is below in the description box to the extended reading. You can follow me over to Vimeo where you can access the reading individually or you can join my Patreon page for an entire month at a discounted rate. I really appreciate your energy exchange. It keeps me on YouTube full time. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Aries.